Hey guys, Pat here from Rain Country. God is good all the time. And right here we've got a old roller. Looks like a lawn roller. And my dad purchased a piece of property right next to where he lives. And he uh, had this land there. The property he bought, it had just all kinds of junk on it, you know. And so I seen that thing and made a comment and dad says well take it and get it out of here <laughs> what do you guys think this thing is obviously it's a seat <laughs> and a roller and it's it's a it's a roller that uh, looks like it tows behind maybe one of those old hand operated tractors and i'm assuming i'm just you know see you know if you guys out there if there's any anybody who really knows what this is let us know in the comment section but I envision it going on one of those old old tractors. Anyway, what I want to do is I want to take this old seat and I want to put it on my uh, little John Deere 111 uh, lawn tractor. A couple of years ago, if you guys remember, we purchased a piece of property and this tractor came with the property, but it was in pretty rough shape. So this hood was a wreck. It was all mashed in in the front and the, the paint, of course, was was terrible all over the machine. So I stripped it down, uh, found a new hood on eBay, and, and purchased it and refinished it. The deck was a mess. <laughs> so I had, to re I had to rebuild the spindles and everything. I've got brand new spindles in this. Went ahead and painted the chassis. But anyways, I got this old seat on here. It's comfortable, but it... It... Uh, just doesn't look like it belongs <laughs> so I thought I was gonna take this old seat off of here and put that other seat on that older seat and I thought it'd be kind of a fun project um, take pictures of it and show it my show it to my dad I think he might get tickled about it anyhow uh, this is coming off what they have here a block of wood uh, on the on the springs the brackets here and um, I thought, well, if a guy's going to go through all the trouble and anguish to strip down this tractor and put new belts on it and put new spindles on it and on and on and on, well, I might as well just take a little bit of John Deere yellow and paint up that other seat and stick it on there and see how that looks. So I thought that'd be kind of fun. So I'm not going to get too carried away on this. It doesn't seem like it's rusting any more than what it is now. So this used to be green. I think I'm just going to rough this up with a little bit of 220 wet dry sandpaper. Wet sand this a little. Paint it. Um, first of all, I got to take this bolt off the bottom. It's beginning to get a little bit tight. So I'm going to go ahead and clean the threads with a little uh, wire wheel. All right, well that's drying. I'm gonna go ahead and take that other seat off. So 
And then I have to fabricate a bracket to go on here to accommodate the new seat. Okay, what I have here is a, a chunk of aluminum. It looks like it's three-eighths of an inch thick. That is correct. Uh, just sheet aluminum. And now I have to determine uh, how wide I need to make it. Obviously, that just has one hole in the center. So I need to determine on those slotted on those slotted bolts that run through those uh, springs on, on that tractor, I needed to determine where to put those holes. Okay, here we are at the brackets, and I want to go center to center, so I can go tight up against this edge here, and I'll have to go to this edge on this side. So 8 and 9 sixteenths, center to center between the two brackets. And it has to be at least ten and a half inches wide. Or ten and nine sixteenths outside to outside. So ten and nine sixteenths. So half of four and three eighths will be two and three sixteenths. Two and three sixteenths over here. Now I'll find center here for the bolt that goes through the middle of the seat. So that's going to be five and a quarter. Now the paint's dry enough on the bottom of the seat to where I can put a finished coat on that and let it dry. Well, that's dry, and we'll go ahead and finish up with the mount. Well, to make this easier, I think I'll go ahead and put the holes in here before I cut this off. Well I have a lot of metal out here, a lot of weight uh, to hold it in place. I can probably just take a clamp and clamp it over over here. A uh, little quick clamp. Now I have to determine what size holes to make. So I'm going to go over there and measure the slots or the springs over there on the tractor and size up the bolt on the seat itself and see what we come up with. I think they're going to be the same size, maybe like a half inch. So the slots are actually 7 sixteenths, so a half inch bolt will not work. So we want to go with a 3 eighths. wonder if we could just go ahead and use these two. Obviously the guy's got to be really careful. He doesn't mess up the threads on these. I didn't hit that that hard, so I really wasn't concerned about that. So now we have our two bolts. So that part ain't broke, so we won't fix that. <laughs> so we have two, two bolts that are going to be of more than sufficient length. Um, I might go ahead and find another nylock. I could use this one here, but maybe I'll just get a couple of new ones. So we're going to take a center punch and we're going to define center on these. So we're going to use a 3 8, 3 8 inch drill on this. I'll go ahead and measure this one with a set of calipers. That'll be 0.5, so we're going to have to go with a half inch bit on that one.
Well, I did mow this morning by design. <laughs> I don't want to sit on that for a little while anyway. And so it's got about a week to cure before I need to mow the yard again. So anyway, I thought that'd be a fun little project. Thanks for stopping by. Take care and God bless.